Hello kids! How are you today? Today we're going to have a new lesson for our English. I am Teacher Jink, your teacher for today, for your English 3. Quarter 1. Week 6. Milk Waste. Our lesson would be all about plural forms of regular nouns. Let us read first the five words. Water. Six. Fruit. Milk. Seven. Orange. Juice. Hate. Grape. Soda. Nine. Bear. Tea. Ten. Banana. Your turn. Very good. Let us read the following words. Repeat after me. Group. Quantities. Singular. Plural. Events. Let us first have an activity before we proceed to our lesson. Direction. Underline the noun in each sentence. For number one, Richard plays a lot. Richard is the noun in this sentence. For, se for number two or for the second one, Andrea loves to sing. The noun here is Andrea. For number three, the bag is pink. Bag is the noun. For number four, the bird chirps. The noun here is bird. Number five, a lovely kitten walks slowly. The noun here is kitten. Yeah. Let us now read the story about Kind Marie by Nova C. Helen. Kind Marie. Once there was a young girl named Marie. She is a lovely girl with a curly hair. Marie was very rich that she did not need anybody to help her. Everybody in her town knew that Marie had a heart of stone. One sunny day, a boy asked for help, or the poor boy dressed in ragged clothes knocked on the door of the rich girl's mansion. Marie saw the boy from far and said, I didn't see him. Get that boy away from here. Nobody will enter the mansion in the rugs. When the boy heard it, he pleaded, Please have mercy. If there's anything I can do to please her, I will do it. Help me. I have nothing. My parents all died in an accident. I have no one to turn to. I can be her servant. I will do anything for her. Upon learning what the boy told Aling the scene, Marie had a change of heart. So, she went out of the house, approached the boy, and invited him inside the house. Then Marie gave the boy some food and had a wonderful conversation with him. Marie found out that the boy could tell beautiful and interesting stories. Marie was so delighted with the boy's skill in delivering story. To her amazement, she gave the boy some of her books and bag full of treats. After some time, everyone in town was surprised to see that the boy living with Marie in the mansion. Marie and the boy became close friends. Everybody thought that Marie, a rich girl with a heart of stone, could never learn to help other people, much less than a rugged boy. It was a good thing she did. Marie learned to give the others and herself a chance to be kind. What is the name of the girl in the story? Can you still remember it? Right, her name is Marie. How did Marie help the rugged boy? You can share your answer to your classmate. Or to your teacher. Third question. What lesson can we get from the story Kind Marie? You can also share your answer 
to know a teacher or to know a classmate. Have you noticed the underlying words in the story? The underlying words in the story are girl, jelly, boy, door, books, and bag. What do we call these words? Underlying words are called noun. Last time we've learned about nouns. Now nouns are names of persons, things, animals, and places. Nouns can be singular or plural. A singular noun names one person, places, animals, or thing. While a plural noun names more than one person, places, animals, or thing. Let us study about the different plural form of regular form. Number one, most nouns form their plural by adding s to singular. Let's see for example, book. If there is already more than one book, then we will add s to its name. Books. Book for singular, books for plural. Another example, kitten. If there is already more than two kitten, then we will add S and it will become kittens. Another example, teacher. If there is already more than one teacher, we will add S to its name. Teachers. Pencil. If there is already more than one pencil, we will add S to its name and this will become Pencils. School. If there is already more than one school, we will just add S to its name. Schools. Nouns that end in double S or S, SH, CH, and X form their plural by adding ES. For example, dress. If there is already more than one dress, we will add ES to its name. Dresses. Another example. Fish. If there is already more than one fish, then we will add ES to its name. Fishes. Is the plural form of fish. Torch. If there is already more than one torch, then we will add ES to its name. Torches. Next example. Box. If there's already more than one box, then we will add ES to its name. Now, boxes. So, singular box to plural boxes. Now, step N in Y, preceded by a consonant form, their plural is by changing Y to I and add ES. How it is done? Take a look at this example. Baby. This, if there's already more than one baby, then the plural form of baby is babies. So the, the baby ends with Y, and it is preceded by a consonant which is letter B. So we will change Y to I, and we will add ES. So the plural form is babies. Another example, we have candy. If there is already more than one candy, then the plural form of it is candies. For number four, nouns ending in Y preceded by a vowel form, their plural would be by adding an S. So, for example, boy. So, its plural form, if there's already more than one boy, is boys. Because... Um, y is preceded by a vowel sound, which is the O. So again, if it's preceded by a vowel, if not a consonant, then we will just add S. So from boy, plural, boys. Next, we have here toy. Then, if there's already more than one toy, then it's boys. Another example, key. If there's already more than one key, then the plural form of this is keys. Five, some nouns that end with F or FE form their plural by changing F or FE to V and add ES. So, for example, wolf. So, as you can see, the last letter there is letter F. So, if we're going to make it as a plural form or make it to plural form, then from wolf, again, we will change the F 
to V, then add ES. So the plural form is wolves. Another example. This is calf. If there's already more than one calf, again, all, we're, all we have to do is change the F to V, then add ES. Then the plural form of calf is calves. Some nouns that end in F, their plural is by just adding S. For example, handkerchief. If there's already more than one handkerchief, then we will just add S to it and the plural form is handkerchiefs. Some nouns that end in O form their plural by adding S. Let's say radio. So if there's already more than two radios, then the plural form of radio is radios. We will just, again, we will just add S. To some nouns that end in O preceded by a consonant. Some nouns that end in O preceded by a consonant form their plural by adding ES. Let's say, for example, this is tomato. We will just add ES according to this rule. So, if there's already more than one tomato, then this would become tomatoes. Some nouns form their plural by changing their spelling. If this already happens, then nouns that change their spelling in the plural form are called irregular nouns. So first example, man. The plural form of man, men. For woman also, if there's already more than one woman, then this becomes woman. Another example, child. If there's already more than one child, then the plural form of child is children. Another example for mouse. If there's already more than one mouse, then the plural form of mouse is mice. See, the spelling got changed. Another example, foot. If there's already more than one foot, then the plural form of foot is feet. Did you get it? Let's have some activities for us to make sure that you're going to remember this lesson and you will understand this further. Write the correct plural form of the nouns. First, what's the plural form of they? Form of they is days. What about keys? Right, it's keyses. What about body? The Y here is preceded by consonant. So we will change Y to I, then add ES. It's bodies. What about bench? We'll just add ES and it becomes benches. Tail and tails. For axe, the plural form of axe is axes. Then keys, same with our first example, uh, keyses. Then stem, we will just add S to it. Then steps. And bush, we will just add ES to it. And this becomes bushes. Lily, Lily uh, ends with another Y, preceded with a consonant. Again, if the letter preceded or the letter before the Y is a consonant, then we will change Y to I, then we will have ES. So, Lilies is the plural form of Lily. Another example. So, write the singular or plural form of each noun. What is the plural form? Is the? What is the singular noun for? It's it. You still remember? That's right. So, the singular form of teeth is truth. Deer. The plural form of deer is just deer. So, there's no changes at all. Child is the singular noun. What about the plural form of child? Children is the plural noun for child. What about the plural noun geese? Goose is the singular noun. What about mouse? The plural form of mouse is mice. Moose. The singular form of moose is also moose. There's no changes at all. Foot. The plural form of foot is feet. Man. The plural form of man is men. What about the singular form of women? Woman. The plural form of tooth. The plural form of tooth is teeth. Copy this and copy this and circle the correct plural form of the nouns. So plural form of pale. So the plural form of pale is pales. Just add test to it. What about number two? Book. What is the plural form of book? The correct plural form is books. What about shower? An S and the shower. So from shower to showers. What about cross? The correct or plural noun of cross is crosses. So what about torch? Plural form of torch is torches. Just add ES. Take the correct plural form of the following irregular nouns. Child. The plural form of this is 
children. So what about die? So the plural form of die is dies. Then men. The plural form of man is men. What about ox? That's oxen. And truth? That's teeth. Write the correct plural form of each noun of the black butterflies. For leaf, remove the F, then change it to V, then add ES. That's leaves. So wife, and that's whites. For toy, what's the plural form of toy? Yes, that's toys, and we'll just add S. Then monkey, we will just add S to it. Monkeys, so what is the plural form of hero? Heroes. Beavers. Bush. Just add ES. That's bushes. Then city. Cities. If um, Y is preceded with a vowel, then you will just add S to it. So this becomes valleys. For number 11, cliffs. You will just add S. Cliffs. For 12, echo. You will just add ES. Echoes. And the plural form of man lead to men. Then knife. You change F E to V. Then add ES. Then for knife to knives. Then tooth, you will just change the vowel double O to double E. Then from tooth to T. Underline the correct world form shown in the picture. Right, that's mites. Is that a goose or geese? That's right, that's geese. What about this one? Teeth or tooth? There's already more than one tooth. That's why the plural form of tooth is T. What is the correct answer? That's right. The correct plural form is women. Or is it children or child? What is the correct plural form? It's children. What about this one? Right, it's men. Call the word in the parenthesis that completes each sentence. Number one, Jana, put or feet were dirty. Were dirty. The correct answer is feet. Number two, a tooth or a teeth. Of calyx X, it's tooth three. All women or women in the party had fun. Is it woman or women? That's right. All women in the party had fun. Number four. They see many men or men on their way to clinic. What is it, man or men? They see many men. They see many men on their way to clinic. Number five, my child or my children. That's right, children. My children, says mother to Anna and Dino. It's go to the market. He sees a mouse or a mice climbing up the stairs. That's right, he sees a mouse climbing up the stairs. Remember, the singular nouns names one person, places, animals, or thing. Well, plural nouns names more than one person, places, animals, or thing. Most nouns form their plural by adding S. There's also nouns ending in S, double S, X, TH, and SH form their plural by adding ES. And some nouns form their plural by changing their spelling. And remember, nouns that change their spelling in the plural form are called irregular nouns. Very good, kids. So, have you learned or did you understand our lesson today? Again, our lesson for today is about plural form of regular nouns and irregular nouns. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share this video so that other children will also learn from our lesson.